Hey everybody, Todd Cooperwriter here with Esoteric doing one of our, what we call, down and dirty videos. What does that mean? We're not going through all of the production um, that we normally do early in the mornings. The shop is running, there's plenty of noises, everything else going on. All right, what we want to talk about here today is polishing on A-pillars. It's not the same as if you're polishing on a flat surface. There's a lot of curvature going on here. You need to approach it a little bit differently. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with the middle of the pillar looking good, the outer edges not so good. So one of the first things I'm looking at here is the trim that's next to it. Sometimes you're gonna find you may have a rubber seal or something in here that you need to tape up. You may have another piece of plastic or something that you wanna tape up. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And normally here, I would just put a small six millimeter piece of tape in between it, but this side sticks up a little bit compared to here, plus it's kind of a sharp edge. So you run the risk of damaging that if you don't cover it up. So I'm gonna use the regular 18 millimeter tape here, and I'm gonna cover it up so I've got the sharp edge protected, and I have got the rubber seal in the middle protected so that I don't get a bunch of polish on it. Uh, this one on the inside does not really bother me until it gets up into here. If I had a rubber seal close to it, I would tape it up as well. Okay, on this one, I know that I need to do a major level correction. That's what this uh, Rolls Royce is in for. So I know that I'm gonna start off with uh, compounding. I'm using my Meguiar's microfiber compounding disc here, and I am using my Jeskar correcting compound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how we wanna do this. Now, if I look at this surface, from here to here, I have almost a flat surface. And then over on this side, I've got another surface that's like flat. So what I do is I'll treat these as two completely separate uh, surfaces here. I have to remain flat up here and I have to remain flat right here. What does that mean? With the pad, I wanna keep it flat going in this area and down here, I want it flat going in this area so I get full coverage of it. But if you notice too, on this edge, it drops off. So as you're doing this, and it could be even just a regular rounded A-pillar, I wanna make sure and rotate my pad over a bit so that I make sure I'm getting that last little bit of the edge. If I just keep it flat on here, there'll be a little bit left over in the edge that I'm not gonna get. All right, so let me show you what this looks like in real time. So I'll, I'll work this and you can see how I'm going to move the machine around to keep it working with all the contours. So now I'm kind of flat in that middle surface and I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna flatten it up this back area so I get full coverage. And then you can see I'm going to rotate it over and I'm going to rotate it back over, rotate it back and then I'm going to come back here flat again. And what I'm doing the whole time is I'm just making sure that I'm getting solid contact with the entire curvature and the edges of the A-pillar. Once again, if I don't, if I'm just kind of going straight back and forth with it, my outer edges aren't going to look that great. So let me take a quick peek here. All right, all my defects are gone. I'm just left with the normal compounding haze. Now I'll go back in. I'll do a similar kind of process with my finishing. I'm gonna switch over to one of our new Buff and Shine uh, uh, pads. These things are great for uh, polishing, finish polishing on softer paint. If you've dealt with any cars that have like really finicky black paint in particular, or some of the old uh, single stages, I, old Porsches come to mind. This is a really, really good pad, kind of our, our, our pad of choice when it comes to that fine finishing. All right, enough of a commercial about that particular pad. <clears throat> Let me go into my finish polishing process. Let's see here, put a little bit of polish right on there. Spread it in a little bit right at first. Same thing, I've got it flat over here to this small half inch section. I'm gonna race, rotate it over so it's flat in the middle. I'm gonna rotate it over again so 
until I can get that, that outer edge or lip. And then I can come back and forth a bit. I keep moving the machine the whole time. Make sure that I maximize the contact with that surface as much as I possibly can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this off. That should, yeah, just as I thought. I mean, super brilliant finish to it. You know, 100% correction. And the first thing I look for, I look for this low area right here where it's curved off. And I look for that low area on the other side where it's curved off. Anybody can get the middle, but it's how those edges on that curvature look that separates a good detail from a great detail. Well, hopefully that gives you some more information, better understanding about how we go approaching curved areas. And we'll get to some more areas of the car uh, in some other videos, but this is a really important area, this whole pillar where you've got curvature involved that you need to keep your pad and your machine you know, moving along to go with the contour at all times. Any questions that you have additionally, leave them below in the comments. I'm the one that personally handles them all and get you taken care of. As always, we appreciate you hanging out with us here on the Esoteric channel. Make sure to leave comments below. Let us know what you thought of uh, this particular video format. We want to see more of it. Look forward to seeing you in our next video.